first, I'm gonna go ahead and make three points of contact, okay? As I get up inside of this truck. Okay, now I'm gonna put my seatbelt on and my seatbelt, it retracts properly and there's no excessive phrase, there's no cuts on my seatbelt and my latch is working properly. Okay, next uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a safe start, okay? By making sure that my transmission is in neutral, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and engage in my clutch and turn my truck on. And the first thing that came on was my ABS light and it came off. So I'll let my examiner know that my ABS came on and off and that is working properly. Okay, so now that I'm sitting down, I'm gonna start my ink cab, okay? So my mirror, my convex mirror is clean, clear, and adjusted to me. My two front corner mirrors are clean, clear, and adjusted to me. My passenger side mirror is clean, clear, and adjusted to me. My passenger side window, my driver side window is clean and clear. My windshield is clean and clear. Okay, and since I'm already at my windshield, I will check my wipers. My wipers are working properly full contact to the glass and my washer sprayers are working properly okay now we're gonna check our gauges and I'll go in a little bit our oil pressure is working properly between 40 and 60 psi as you can see if I rev it up just a little bit Okay. Our temperature gauge is reading properly between 180 and 200 degrees. Our battery voltage is 14.1, so that's working properly. And our dev tank is at least an eighth of a tank. And you can see our primary and our secondary air tanks are working properly between 100 and 125. So all of our gauges are working properly. Now I'm going to check my indicator lights on my dash. My left turn signal indicator on my dash is working properly. My right indicator on my dash is working properly. My high beams indicator on my dash is working properly. My four way flashers are working properly on my dash. And finally, I will check my heater and my defroster. Okay. So my heater and my defroster is working properly. And my CD horn and my highway horn is working properly. Okay, now that I've completed the in cap, now I'm gonna start my three part brake system check. So the first thing I want to do, okay, is I wanna turn off the engine, okay. Turn it off. Okay. Next thing I would do is release my brakes. Okay, because that's what that says. Now I'm gonna turn the key back on to the second switch. Okay. So here's the first one. Okay, that's the first one. Now this is the second one, so all your gauges should turn on just like that. And now you'll let your examiner know that you're going to do 
uh, leak down test, okay? So you're gonna put your timer ready for one minute. Once you're ready, you're gonna push in on the brake just like this, okay? And you're gonna hold it for one minute, okay? And you're gonna be monitoring your, your gauges. So it's 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Now that we have one minute, release your brakes, lick your gauges, and let your examiner know I did not lose more than feet four PSI in one minute. Okay? Now you completed the leak down test and you will let your examiner know that you will now proceed to the low pressure warning system check. Okay? So you're gonna fan the brakes by pumping the brakes. As soon as that alarm gets triggered, you let your examiner know that your low pressure warning system is working properly because your alarm came on around 60 PSI. Now if you completed your, low, uh, your leak down test and your low pressure warning, you will complete your emergency brake test now. So now you'll let your examiner know I will start my emergency brakes and you'll be fanning your brakes one more time. And now you're waiting for your your buttons over here to engage. Okay, once those buttons come out, you'll let your examiner know that your uh, your emergency brakes are working properly because they turned on around 40 psi, so they are working properly. Okay, now you're gonna go and do a safe start. Okay, by ensuring that your transmissions in neutral okay you will engage in your clutch and start your truck okay now I will go ahead and unchalk my wheels while my uh, my pressure is building on my gauges I'm still waiting for my my gauges to uh, come up to normal operating okay while I wait here for my air gauges and my air tanks to fill up, if you notice uh, some of the old videos or the trailer video that Reed uh, put out there, he missed, I believe, uh, the the torque bar, the torsion bar, and this is the perfect time to go and let your examiner know that you missed something. So you let them know that the torsion bar is properly bound secured, not cracked, been broken, and anything else that you might have missed. Okay. It looks like I'm back to normal. Okay. So now we'll proceed. Okay. Now I'm going to do a tug test. Okay. I will make sure I put this thing in gear, put my clutch in, put it in first gear or second gear, whichever one you want. I'm going to check my trailer brake. Okay. By engaging, releasing my tractor brake. I am checking my trailer brake. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice little tug. Okay. And then I'll let my examiner know the results. My trailer brake is working properly. Okay. So now, now you're gonna check for your tractor brake. I'm gonna release my trailer brake and check my tractor brake. Again, I do a little tug. Okay, my tractor brake is working properly, okay? Now I'm gonna do a service brake test, okay? So to do this service brake test, I have to make sure that I release the tractor and the trailer, at, okay? I'm already in gear, so I'll move approximately three to five miles per hour, okay? Which I'm not gonna move, okay? But let's just say I did, and then I stopped. Okay, I'll let my examiner know that my service brake test is working properly because I did not lean to the left nor to the right. It did not pull in or left or right, okay? So that's working properly, okay? I will pull my brakes out, put my transmission in neutral, and now I will let my examiner know that I have now completed my in-cap test.